605 officially all right and this meeting will now come to order as i said earlier it's the 17th international meeting of the cedar creek rv owners club we have 34 member units here this week and one guest unit 12 of these members are here for their very first rally yeah. would you, if you're here for your first rally would you stand up so everybody can see very good. Thank you very much and thank you for being here. We are delighted. It's always good for a club to have new new people coming in. It's a good sign of vitality and interest and all that. And we do love going on rallies and going out in our Cedar Creeks and being with each other. Um, the secretary will now read the minutes of the last meeting, which was last year. <laughs> Brilliant. Bernie, Bernie, hold it. Excuse me. Nothing personal. No, go ahead. Bernie. Wait, Bernie. Hold on. I'm trying to find you. Get your mic up. Put this on. Put this on my dress. Okay. No, stop it. <laughs> I got too many papers here. Okay. Oh, you're uh, pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> For a secretary. For a secretary, right? <laughs> oh, I'll take it. It's being recorded. Okay, the time of the last meeting was 6.15. The meeting will please come to order. The secretary will read the minutes of the last meeting. Are there any corrections? There were none. Motion to accept the minutes as read. First was George Reckentine. The second was Betty Isley. The minutes stand approved as read. The treasurer will give their report. Rick Schultz read the minutes for the treasurer. Motion to accept the treasurer's report. Laverne Sarbayer was first. Rich Flynn was second. Elections. Paper ballots. Read the recommendation from the nominating committee. Dennis Ream, Jim Isley, and Lisa Smeltzer to bring forth me as the secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Secretary. <laughs> That's me. Rick Schultz referred to Robert's rules regarding only one nominee for the secretary. Anne Marie Reckentime requested from the floor three times for any additional nominees for the secretary position, and there were none, so Bernadine Solomon was elected by acclamation. Motion to accept the acclamation. First was Roger Barber. Second was Ray Hicks. It's because nobody else wanted the job. <laughs> the ballot committee consisting of Ray Hicks, Debbie Kaufman, and Sue Flynn were thanked for their support. Directors and or committee reports. There are seven remaining rallies scheduled for this year and one so far in 2023. 2022 was the Midwest Rally in St. Peter's, Missouri. Uh, no, that's that's the upcoming. Well, how could that happen? You grabbed the wrong. You grabbed the wrong. Can I have yours? <laughs> I don't have them. How did they get mixed up? Because you got too many pages. Look in this folded stuff. I do. No, here. Look in here. Oh, oh why they changed the agenda on me? No. No. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry about the agenda. You know that's for next far year. Yes, that's I do. Okay. <laughs> I sing better than he does. <laughs> okay. You obviously missed the far, far away part. I've been singing that to her all her life. Oh, thank you, my you darling. Win. Thank you, darling. Oh, this sounds like a mutual. We have, we have an intermission right now. Yeah. You may go get your drinks and whatever you prefer. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So what happened to the middle? The middle. Make a motion we accept the minutes. Uh, <laughs> Whenever oh, they're That is, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number one, the bylaw change was approved by the executive board and board of directors and now has come to the members for their approval. By a show of hands, <clears throat> does the membership approve the bylaw change from 10 regions to 5 unanimous vote by a show of hands? Unfinished business, no unfinished business. New business, none. Announcements. We have 34 rigs and 7 new members first rally. Please stand up. Vendors, thank them for taking the time to join us. More ride, Jack Enfield, Firefly, Nick Alsbeth, Seth, 
uh, SK, Ed Hayes, Mary Kay, Eileen Schultz, Cedar Creek, Nick Schrock, whatever his name is. Thank you to all the volunteers who made this rally happen. The early birds, the Solomons, Isleys, and Smelters, the breakfast cooks who cooked these fabulous omelets, Rich, Jose, Steve, Dave, David, and Randy. All of the wonderful volunteers who help clean up every night, the fussels for their hard work on the scavenger hunt, Joe and Nita Boatwright for the wonderful ice cream on movie nights, the nominating committee, Dennis Rehm, Jim Mizey, and Lisa Smeltzer. The audit committee, Torben Peterson, Todd Smeltzer, and Rick Schultz. Ballot committee, Ray Hicks, Sue Flynn, and Debbie Kaufman. Presented Betty Gatston with a service plaque congratulating her for her many years of devoted service. Acknowledge Pete and Jane Brandon's time as Region 8 directors. Announce we are looking to change the date of the international from June to after Labor Day. After some discussion, it was well received by the member membership by a show of hands. We need more rallies. This year we have in Shipshawana, Indiana, Pensacola, Florida, Finger Lakes, New York, Denver, Pennsylvania, and next year's international rally in Hermososa, South Dakota. Rob and Michelle Ballard volunteered to host the 2023 international rally in either Rand Lake, Illinois, or Fruit 77 on 57. A final information will be announced later. Jerry and Eileen Beeler are hosting a rally at Willow Tree, South Carolina in May of 2022. Encourage everyone to post their recipes on the forum from the potluck on Monday. Delicious food. Encouraged everyone to use the forum and Facebook. We have 141 members on Facebook at this time. Raffle was held for the Cedar Creek quilt, which generated $260. Bernie Solomon won the quilt. The 50-50 raffle generated $301. Sue Flynn won the 50-50 amount of 150 and she graciously donated it back. The Cedar Creek Club will send a check in the amount of $561 to the Shriners Hospital for their work with children. If there is no business, I call for a motion to adjourn. First was Robert Ballard, second was Jim Cummings. All in favor was approved with a show of hands. Meeting stands adjourned until the 17th International Rally in South Dakota. Okay. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Woo! All right. I'm um, get my next papers. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I like my hand over there. <laughs> what was the date of the last meeting and the location so that everybody knows where it was held? Um, it was in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, was it June? Creek fire. June of Creek fire. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, now he's on your way. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Are there any corrections to the minutes? Absolutely not. <laughs> no corrections. Uh, I ask I'll now. A motion that we accept the minutes. That was my. Read. We have a motion. Okay, and a second to accept the minutes as read. Thank you. The minutes stand approved as read. And that was Rick Schultz and Les. Okay. All right. The treasurer will give their report, and the treasurer is not here, so here I come again, guys. Bernie's going to read the treasurer's oh, report. You have so many hats. Bernie, my hold on a second. <laughs> Do it in your treasurer report. <laughs> Wait a minute, Bernie. You got to be a pain in the ass. You owe me for this. <laughs> you owe me. You owe me. You wanted to do it. You wanted it so bad. Okay. Please. <laughs> okay. This is a statement of activity from June 2021 to May 2022. Revenue: 5050 raffle collections, $301. Non-member dinner collections, $14.74. Quilt raffle collections, $260. Receipts and collections, nothing. Donations from Amish Family RV for the rally flags, $3,000. Membership dues, $5,675.70. Reimbursements, there was none. Flags, $180. Patches, $50. Total reimbursement, $230. Total receipts and collections, $8,905.70. Total revenue, $9,481.44. Gross profit, $9,481.44. Okay. Expenditures, nothing, nothing. Banners and fla rally flags, $870. 60 flags to date. 
uh, total banners, eight, well, it all comes under 870. Rally patches, $1,177.95. The total was $1,177.95. Um, Kansas annual filing fee, $40. Total filing fees and licenses, $40. Memorial flowers and donation, uh, $661. QuickBooks, $430. The total office general administrative expenses were $430. Rally expenses, $137.20. International rally expenses, $758.10. International dinner, $516.09. Total rally expenses, $1,274.19. Total rally expenses, $1,411.39. Okay, website fees, $1,806.99. Club Express, $38.34. GoDaddy web hosting fee, uh, $38.34. Total website fees, $1,845.33. Total expenditures, $6,435.67. Total expenditures, $3,045.77. So the net revenue was $3,045.77. Now, wasn't that boring? <laughs> <laughs> but very informative. <laughs> I hate numbers. <laughs> I'm okay. <glad>. I'm done. <laughs> Do I have a do I have a motion that we accept the treasurer's report? Okay, Ed Hayes made a motion second. Ray, get that on. All right, the treasurer's report is accepted as read. Okay. Is there any unfinished business that anyone would like to bring up? Did they do Rick, an audit of the you're books? recognized. Did they do an audit of the books this year? There was an audit of the books. It's not necessarily reported in this meeting, but we can do that. Okay. Yeah. There was an audit. Yes, sir. I'd like to make a comment. Um, the audit committee is making a recommendation that for the renewal fee or for the uh, club fees, that we normally pay 25. Uh, I don't know where this gets captured. But we wanted to make a recommendation from the audit committee that we increase the fee from $25 to include the charge or bank charges, because that is a fairly large number. Um, and so the audit committee was recommending back to you guys. Okay. Well, that will stand in the minutes. However, this, this group does not make that decision. It will first go to the executive board and the board of directors, and then they would bring it to the membership for a vote is my understanding like but thank you, you to yeah thank you for bringing that up so um, it does make sense but that has to go through that um, protocol all right so um, while we're doing it Les go ahead and tell us your committee you were on the auditing committee yes, sir. and you and I Tom I get to go stand next to her Ah. Good afternoon. Uh, <laughs> Good afternoon. We are down. a friendly club. <laughs> yes. I'm Les Fussell. I was actually asked to be the chairman of the audit committee. Um, I want to recognize uh, Ray Hicks, who was a member of this. Also, Tom Canales mm -hmm. back there that was also a member of it. Um, I will tell you that it was a, we had several meetings and there were several recommendations, not only about that, but that'll be going to the executive committee. But we did accept it. We acknowledged that through email back to the executive committee. So it has okay. been audited and accepted. Accepted. Very good. Thank you so much. All right. Is there any new business? <laughs> oh, my name tag is on that side. All right. There's no un uh, new business. We will move to the elections. Um, we had a, a nominating committee of three people, 
Todd Smeltzer is the chairman of it. Michelle Ballard was on that committee, as was Johnny Blankenship. They have nominated, this is the year, on even years, we um, elect a president and a vice president, and on odd years, we elect a treasurer, assistant treasurer, and secretary. So this is the year for president and vice president. The nominating committee nominated Michelle Ballard for president, and me, Sandra Hayes. Hey, Michelle, okay. And then they asked me if I would um, run for vice president uh, for a second term, and I agreed to do that. So we'll be the t two people there. Okay, now, do we have any nominations from the floor for, e let's say, for president? Are there any nominations from the floor for president? Are there any nominations from the floor for president? Are there, I have to say it three times. Are there any nominations from the floor for president? Madam Chair. Yes. I suggest we close nominations and cast one vote for president. Thank you, Rick. Okay, so he suggested that we close the nominations for president and cast one vote for that. Do, do I have a second? Second. Second. Okay, so that's been um, second, voted for in second. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so we will have one. Do I ask them to vote, to raise their hand? No, no that's good. One was LeBaron, Dave. Okay. No, I'm... And, and left. I'm talking about for that motion. Okay. All right. I'm good. All right. Now we'll move to the nomination for vice president. Are there any nominations from the floor for vice president? Madam Vice President. Yes. I nominate Ray Sager okay. for vice president. Is there a second? A second. Hello. Okay. Is he present? I would, uh, is he present? Point, point of order. Okay, Rick has a point of order here. Is the member present? No. no. How do, we, do know? we know that the person wants the position? Because he told me he would want to let, okay. let me finish. Okay. The nominating committee has been working to get members for the last six months. When did he ask you to nominate him? Sorry. Why didn't he go to the nominating committee between then and now? Have to ask him that. No, I don't have to ask him. In my opinion, since he has not gone to the nominating committee and he is not present, you could do him as a write in vote, but his name cannot go on the ballot. I relieve the floor. Okay, thank you. Is there any further discussion? Can you hear you? Speak up, Les. Nominations from the floor, such as Jerry just did, do not require a second. But we got one anyway, but okay, know, but thank you. All right. I wanted to make sure. Okay. Are there, are there any further nominations for vice president? Okay. From the floor, would anyone like to nominate someone for vice president? Okay. Well, okay. I did it three. Okay, that was three. Okay. So now we're going to pass out ballots so you can vote. The ballots have the two names on them that were um, nominated by the nomination committee for president and vice president. There's a space on there to write in someone if you would like to write them in. The gentleman, um, Jerry Beeler, nominated Ray Sager. So if you would like to vote for Ray Sager for vice president, you can write that in. If there's anyone else you'd like to vote for for vice president, you're free to write that in as well. So with that, we'll have the, the three people on the ballot committee pass out the ballots. They are paper ballots, and our, our people doing that are uh, Bob B. Croft, T Kelly Townsend, and Chuck Hazlett. We're going to start here, pass ballots out. You go, Kelly, stepping up. Well, I was going to have you do it when they come back with the count. Very good. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Save the pen. Are there any more ballots outstanding? Okay. If not, we're going to say that the voting, the polling. <laughs> Cut what? You got a question here? Oh, no question. Okay. 
Everybody's ballots are turned in, right? Okay. The polling is now complete. And the audit committee will tally them up. The, um, the, um, the ballot committee will tally up the, um, the votes. While they're doing that, we're going to continue with the meeting so we're not here half the night. I'm sure that suits everybody. We can be here half the night, but not doing this. <laughs> um, okay, now I'm going to ask for regional director's reports. You know, we have five regions in, in our Cedar Creek Club, and we have three regional directors present at this um, rally. So the first one I'm going to invite to speak to us is Jerry Beeler. We have had two rallies this year so far, Willow Tree the first week of May and Pigeon Forge the following week. And we had a good turnout. Everybody had a good time. I think we had between 15 and 20 rigs at, at each one of the regions or each one of the rallies. For 2023, we have already set up a rally for Pigeon Forge. <laughs> Begins the day after Mother's Day. May 15th through the 20th. Okay. May 15th through the 20th. We will also have another rally at Willow Tree in 2023, but it's going to be in the fall, late September or early October. And we haven't set a date for that, haven't, haven't uh, made any specific plans yet, but that's, that's our intention to do that for next year. Uh, how many more rallies have, are in the southeast region this year? We've got Pencil, or, uh, East Point. Uh, yeah, the Florida State Rally in East Point, and one in, well, that's it for this year. The Florida State Rally at East Point. And that's September 26th to August 3rd. September 26th through August the 3rd. <laughs> you back in or what? And, and I have an announcement to make. Gene and Tricia Salata have agreed to be the state representatives for Georgia. Woo! Stand up, stand up, stand up. Speak. 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 I think that's it for the Southeast region. Very good. Thank you, Jerry. And if anybody would like to be the state representative from their state, let your uh, regional director know that, okay? They would be delighted to have you help out with rallies. Um, okay, next we'll hear from Tom Tannis from the Southwest region. Got you figured out right? You're going to get cut. <laughs> you can just talk it to you. I will. Um, hopefully I can talk loud enough for everybody here. If you can hear me back there, raise your hand. All right. Uh, thank you. I'm the Southwest Region Director, uh, which is um, Texas, uh, Oklahoma, and Arizona and New Mexico. We're going to have our first region rally in October. It's the first one we've had in a very long time in Texas. Um, it's going to be in Galveston, Texas, starting on October the 19th and run through October the 23rd, which is a Sunday. So uh, the event is listed on the site. You can go look at the site. You can register there. I believe we've got somewhere around 18 people already registered. I've reserved 20 spots. We can probably get a few more if we need to. But right now, I think we've got somewhere about 18 uh, already registered uh, for the event. I haven't set a closing for it. They've kept it open for us. I'll probably start sending out more information again about the rally probably in the next month or so. But um, uh, there's a whole list of things to do in Galveston, Texas. If you've not ever been to Galveston, there's a lot to do in that area and even south of uh, Houston. So you're not far from Houston uh, in Galveston. So that's all I've got to report. If anybody wants to be a state rep uh, for any of those states, please let me know and be glad to work with you to uh, set up a state rep. I don't believe we have any state reps at this point. We had one that was interested in Texas, 
uh, but decided not to. It was too much work for him. At least that's what he said. Um, he was kind of busy. So anyway, that's all we've got for Southwest Region. Oh, I'm next? You're next, and I've got your rallies if you want them. Okay, and next we have Rich Flynn from the Northeast Region as Regional Director. Okay, Northeast Region, uh, Rich, myself, and Sue. Where did Sue go? Sue Flynn. We have a couple of rallies scheduled. Uh, the, big, the big one is going to be in Association Island in New York, but we have a couple more. Where are they? Um, uh, Pennsylvania State Rally in Denver. Yeah, I'll read them out. All right. Well, these are from a state representative. Some of you know Todd and Lisa Schmelzer. Uh, they're especially known for their campfires. So they are running. Uh, and a couple of other things. But there's a one PA state rally in Denver, PA, August 4th to the 8th. Uh, off the one in Association Island is September 8th to the 11th. Uh, let's see now. That's about all there is there. Oh, Delaware, thank you. Whoever said that, thank you. Delaware State Rally in Bear, Delaware, October 13th to the 16th. We do not have anything scheduled for 2023 yet, and it looks like we're going to have some competition in September and October, generally when I like to do it in the Northeast with the foliage, but we'll work that out. So that's about all. Okay. okay? No, I'll tell you in a second. All right, that's very good. And um, rallies are the lifeblood of our club, and so that's exciting that we have those scheduled already. Um, at this time, I do believe that our elections results are available. We lost us. They are available? Yeah, so you, yes, if you would, please, Chuck. There was a total of 63 ballots presented. Chuck. There was a total of 63 ballots presented, 63 counts were for Michelle Ballard, 12 counts were for Ray Sager as a write-in, and 51 were counted for Sandra Hayes. Woo! All right, and how about the online votes, Rich? All right, we Do you want me to we had 30 you? we had 30 electronic votes posted, all for uh, Sandra and Michelle. Uh, uh, was audited by Eileen. Okay, so we have the 30 additional 30. Thank you. Congratulations! Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Did you count the people present here today? Yeah, yeah. we came up with about 60. You know, it was hard. People kept moving. Kept moving. <laughs> you kept moving. Well, 66 people here, that's yeah, how about, many we were. About 63, I counted. Oh, 63 people. Okay. What'd you count? I just told you. We just, we just want that recorded because that would be a quorum for our club, and that's what the requirement is for the bylaws, is to have a quorum present for our, to, to elect the, um, the candidates. All right. Well, guess what? Congratulations, Michelle Ballard. <laughs> and I am, and for me personally, I am honored and humbled to be able to continue serving in the capacity as vice president. So thank you very much. And I'm now, I now get to turn the meeting over to our new president, <laughs> Michelle Ballard. Thanks. Okay. Well, um, thank you. Um, I, I believe it's an honor that people think I can do the job. I haven't yet figured out what it all entails. I've heard different stories. <laughs> you know, it's really hard. It's not so bad. You get a lot of help. So we'll see how it goes. You know, I got all you guys behind me. That's exactly right. Absolutely. 100%. And I got people to help keep me straight. And I don't know about the other people. Well, you yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. So we'll, we'll see how that works. Um, on the club page, I do have all my contact information, my email, my phone number. You know, you can call me anytime if you have ideas. You know, like they were talking about the audit report. There's things that have to go to the executive board before it's brought to the members. 
So if you have any thoughts, ideas that you think may need to be brought to the members, you know, contact any, any of the officers, your regional or state directors, and we'll see about getting that together and planning, organizing, changes, whatever you like. So just feel free to contact me at any time, okay? Um, so uh, we've covered all the businesses. So I guess I'll just, I want to thank Laverne. Laverne, <laughs> Laverne and John for, um, no, not yet, no. Uh, I want to thank Laverne and John and any and all volunteers that help get this rally together, um, organize it, get the patches ordered, and I mean, she's done a lot of work. They spent all day cooking all this today, I know. It's been wonderful. Um, we also want to thank um, her for organizing the vendors, the clean tank, Gary Heimbach, thinking that's close, and the SK Easy Shine Ed Hayes, he's over there, and the Firefly System, Nick Abelseth, that came down to do that for those. I hope that was helpful as well. I know Laverne does. Um, so, um, other than that, I uh, want to thank... Yes, I want to thank the uh, the Fantasy RV. That's it. What Fantasy was it? RV. Team Fantasy RV team um, from speaking to us, and it sounds like a wonderful thing. You know, maybe if any of you go on those Odysseys or whatever, we'll let you know. that's right. You guys are going. You'll have to let us know, and I know you'll have lots of pictures for us. Tell us how that is. Um, also, let's see the. Uh, Mosley, I'm sorry, I forgot your first name. Mike. Mike. Mike and Linda. Uh, thanks for bringing up the Smart RV trips yep. for veterans. That's that's a wonderful program as well. And then back to volunteers, the ones who help do all the omelet cooking, cooking over those hot pots in the morning. It takes a lot of volunteers to get all these people fed. We know that. And I. Not sure, I think you thanked them. The nominating committee, the audit committee, Les Ray, Tom. You thanked all those people, I think. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you again. You. <laughs> I mentioned them, but not another Right, one. and then the ballot committee, uh, Debbie, Carol, and Chuck for reading those results. I, I, I think I appreciate it, Chuck. <laughs> you're you're going to be one of the people I call when I was like, oh, Chuck, how did you get me into this? Okay, just so you know. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, another thing I want to ask, how many of the new people did you have rally buddies? If you had a rally buddy, raise your hand. How did you like that? Do you think that was helpful for the, <laughs> for, the new, for the new members? Was it helpful to have a buddy kind of let you know where things were? Well, good, okay, because that's something new, and we were hoping that would be helpful, so we're going to continue that. Um, we may need to make sure that we have more people volunteering to be rally buddies, though. We want to make sure any of the new people that come, that they do have a rally buddy. It doesn't have to be a lot of work, you know, it's nope. just, hey, make sure they got their schedule, you're welcome, you know, any of this stuff, but if you decide you're going to go on a train trip and you're not going to make it back, that's fine, you know, it, but we just want to make sure everybody's aware of what's going on. And that's the purpose of the Rally Buddies, so they don't feel lost or don't quite know where to go. And welcome, yes. So that's the purpose, and we're hoping that that has been helpful, and we're going to try and expand that a little bit each time. Um, next year's International Rally. Next topic. Um, we initially were going to try and do it in Nashville, but... We have not been able to find a campground that has the facility that we need at a reasonable price. Nashville is very expensive. Those of you that have been there realize that. And since the club has voted to move the rally to September, that, you know, it's kind of a change in the weather from June. So we have to be probably a little more cautious about making sure we have a building to have facilities or at least a pavilion in case we do have some weather, odd weather. Now, my husband is the one that volunteered to do the rally, oh, so I'm gonna turn the floor over to Rob, 
My husband, come on over, come over here. You didn't know you did this, did you? No, I didn't. Yes, he did. He spoke with him. You can just hang on to it. My name is Rob Ballard. I am uh, representing the regional, the South, I'm sorry, the Midwest Regional Directors, Mindy and Rick Danbury from Bayshore, Kansas. They are not here. So anything I say, it's their fault. <laughs> Consultation with a whole lot of people, Mr. Beeler and uh, some other folks in the area, and we've decided that next year's international is September 11 through 16 in Hawaii. <laughs> they, they got the bigs finished. It's going to be at the ABC Campground in Branson, Missouri. Nice. 11 through 16 September. This is your first official notice. You're the second to know. The regional directors got the word while I was listening to her speak. <laughs> so September 11 through 16, ABC Campground, Branson, Missouri. You cannot call yet until she sets up everything and we put it on the forum and then you can do your thing. We're going to try to get in to beat the price increase for next year. And they said if we get enough interest, maybe 20 rigs, they'll give us last year's rate next year. And they'll work with us on shows, transportation, bus thing, whatever we want to do when we get there. Any questions on that topic? Grace is an awesome place. That's what we heard. I'll just hold it for you. Good job, Rob. Yay, Rob. Thank you, thank you, because I, I must say he certainly has done that. You just gave him that information earlier today? Yeah, so he's, that, that's why I turned it over to him. I didn't, I, not me, I had enough. Okay, um, I've just got a couple of other things. Um, the recipes, several people have asked for recipes, so I personally don't know where they want them posted. I, I think there's more than one place on our club page to put recipes. There's a recipe. So yeah, there's there's a form on there. So if you would like to share your recipes, you are encouraged to put them on there, whatever it may have been, and share that with the other club members. There are others on there from other past rallies. You can go on there and locate those at any time. Um, Speaking of the forum, we want to encourage people to use our club page, the forum page, um, the events are there, um, information. As he said, once the international rally is more set in stone, that's where your information will be, just like for this rally, for the newcomers. You go to that page, it'll tell you where it is, the dates, and all that will be on there. Once all the information's out, there'll be a message put out. And again, for the new folks, if you haven't gotten the information, if you don't know where that club page is, check with, you know, your rally buddy or any, anybody. Or they, Rich, Rich. Or Rich, he's, he's, he, knows, he knows that. <laughs> he can help you locate that and um, get it turned on to receive emails as information is put on there. The emails can come to you. It, it'll come to you like in a, a batch. If somebody's posted about this rally, it'll come to you in an email so you know to go to the club page and get more information. So we encourage you to use that. There are, there's also the Facebook page, same thing, the letters from our club, CCRVO. Yeah, oh, see, I said that right. <laughs> I didn't think it was coming out right. <laughs> um, so, yes, we do encourage you to do that. And I think the last thing that I have is the raffle stuff. So the...